Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and I do makeup, personal style, and singing videos here on YouTube. In case you reach the end of this video and you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So a little story time. A few years ago, I was my girlfriend's bridesmaid at her wedding and her theme is this ballerina tutu pink shade and then she created for us these chiffon gowns in pink and we looked like all lined up together we all look so romantic we look so elegant and i have to say it was pink perfection so on that wedding week i remember going on google and looking for like this beautiful pink makeup that will match my dress and i don't know why i wanted to match the makeup with my dress i don't know why <laughs> but because i'm one of those who like to shock people with colors i did it without practice without anything i checked again on google and saw charlotte tilbury makeup looks so, sabi ko, sige, I'll copy with just what I have. And then, sige, gawin ko lang. I remember her makeup artist that day seeing me on the, on the wedding day. Sabi niya, wow, Susie. Pink na pink. She's also our friend. Kaya, it was all laughs after. But I thought to myself, okay, I think I overdid it. So, that's the inspiration for today's video. I want to recreate that pink glam makeup look i did on that wedding day and maybe to do it better this time so let's start so once again we will start with moisturizer and toner i've already shared this uh this brand with you on my first video it's the sam ph urban eco harakiki emulsion the one let's just prep the face the next step is my trusty baby skin primer like I said I only need a dot then my Vaseline lip care To prep my lips, first is eyeshadow, and we will be using the Peach BYS Eyeshadow Palette. This is not my normal uh, routine. Ang una lagi for me is foundation muna, and then sa kako gagawin yung eyeshadow. But when I saw some uh, videos, Nakita ko inuuna nila yung eyeshadow. Sabi ko nga, no, it makes sense. Kasi parang, like dito sa atin, napaka-init, ba? Okay na unahin yung eyeshadow kasi since pigmented yung mga colors na gagamitin natin today, hindi sila madaling mabubura. For my transition shade, I will use this color over here, this nice uh, dark brown. Ooh, it's so brown. Okay, that's okay. Since this is our transition shade, okay lang naman. Alright. And then, I'm gonna move on to doing a shimmer of like a, a really light, light pink. So this is like a, a rose gold pink that I'm applying. And for my crease, I will be applying this shade. It's called Bori. I've been seeing a lot of um, makeup tutorials that it's like they have this the uh, pointed end here in their eyes. So, let me see if I can do that today. Okay. 
let's see if I can recreate that pointed look. Ah, hang on there. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Wait. Here. Then get in there, get inside the crease. Others use like a tape, right? Para mapantay nila yung parang end here. Pero wala tayong tape, so ito la lang. Let me use another brush to create that line. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty. And then again on this side. Oh my. Wala nang bawian. <laughs> pink, pink. Oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful shade. This is the first time I'm using this na as is na ganitong kulay. Ang ganda. Right? Let's just pantayin pa natin ng kaunti. Woo! <laughs> Exciting! And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this Calabar shade over here. Just a little bit. Like here. Let's color this part. Just to add some depth into the eye. Okay, just a little review on this eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place. It gets a little bit dusty. You know, yun lang yung parang hindi ko masyadong gusto. Pero look at the color. I mean, naman, sobrang ganda. And then let's go back into my peach palette using again this color or we can um, combine these two shades a little bit then let me just try to dust it a little bit like a little dust of pink again from Juvia's Place same pink so we can tie up the color. I usually just do this to blend everything. So far, the pink's there. And then to just dust my upper eyelids, I'm gonna use the Dahia shade of So, I am starting to look like an 80s uh, concert poster, <laughs> my look. So, next is eyeliner. And this is the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner in Righteous Rum. I have been looking for this perfect maroon shade of eyeliner and I finally, finally found it. So, this liner is actually waterproof smudge proof it has a lacquer like sheen and it's also called vinyl eyeliner so it has some uh, metallic colors to it but when you apply it let me show you it's super pigmented See? Super nice. Let me just create a little bit of a, a cat eye to this. Then I'm going to use a brush 
to fix the line. This is how I usually straighten out my, my eyeliner. Ito, medyo natama ako na, this side. Pero ito, nahirapan akong ayusin siya. Mabilis siya ma matuyo. And pag natutuyo, hindi siya madaling spread. So, once na-apply na ulit, nga rin naglagay ka na, start smudging it towards what you want to do. Kasi yun nga, when it's dry, it's hard to manipulate. That's the only, uh, I think, the only con of this vinyl eyeliner. Next is my under eyelids. I will just use a gold. This is actually from Sasa. And I got it in Hong Kong years ago. Okay, this is old, but let me just, uh, for today's purpose only. Diba parang, ano, yung mga turo ng mga mommies natin dati na ganun yung eyeliner. <laughs> I'm still doing it to this day. <laughs> right? That's good. And now, mascara. I will be using Length and Curl Mascara from Nishido. This time, I got myself a waterproof mascara from Nishido. Remember, in the first video, I reviewed a brown mascara from Nishido. So, I thought, for the price point, I got another one. And this time, this is black. So far, we're okay? Yeah. And just for my last step, on the eyes, I'm going back to this brown color from Bis, the transition shade that I used earlier, and apply under my eye. Like it so far? Next is foundation, and I will be wearing this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade 3W1 or Tawny. Uh, the claims of this is that it's a non-moving. Tama ba? Let me just read, okay? Um, it's a stay-in-place, hindi pala non-moving, stay-in-place, foundation, matte, and it controls your oils. So, yun ang kanyang claims. And I've, I've been using this for about two months now. And I have to say that all the claims are very true. Hindi talaga siya gumagalaw. Like, hindi siya humuhulas. Kahit na sobrang init ng panahon, super humid, hindi na, hindi na tatanggal yung foundation na to. Hindi siya madaling maalis. Which is, yay for, for Philippines hot weather. And the best way to apply is with a beauty blender. Okay, so with a beauty blender, I noticed that it's really hard to clean. So, nilabhan ko to actually para lang matanggal ko yung mga stains ng aking foundation. I washed it. Sinama ko sa washing machine. And then, after that, hindi natanggal yung mga stains niya. So, what I did was, in a small basin, I put water, vinegar, and some dishwashing liquid to try to remove the stains of this beauty blender. And it worked. Natanggal yung stains after. Alright, I have already evened out my foundation. And as you can see, ang ganda nitong foundation na I super love this. Estee Lauder is like the OG foundation, right? My Lola uses this. My mom uses this. It's one of those brands that you can really trust because it's been here for a while. Next is concealer. And this is from Maybelline. 
Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And again, with my tiny little sponge, I'm gonna uh, even this out. Dahil inuna ko yung eyeshadow, natatakot tuloy akong galawin. Baka matakpan ko. Pero so far, okay naman. And then the other side. Okay. That's good. And then, uh, my eyebrows next. I'm gonna be using again my the Sam PH eyebrow pencil. I realized last time I did not groom my eyebrows like on my first video so I'm gonna do that today just to make sure that it's everything is fixed up there so I've done this side off cam at this time I'll do it with you guys the left one so this is the the inner part is the one that I usually shade a little bit more then from here line it up Para pantay pa babang ganon. And then, in that upper part, I create a high point on this, on this eyebrow. Next is contour. And this time, I will be using the shade Achieve. This is the darker contour shade by Vice. And then, I'm gonna put dots on my face again. I'll try to put a little bit on this side because look, oh, I have some parts of my head that need some contouring. I will be using a brush this time. Spread out or evenly spread my contour. I really love how blendable this vice uh, Multiganda stick is super, see ya, super easy to spread out and to even it out on your skin. Now, this part. So the deeper shade of this one creates more of a dramatic look with a color scheme or the color theme that I am using on my face right now. So whenever you use this at night, like your face is warm, hindi puting puti. Right. Next is blush. And I'm gonna use again my Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. But just the blush part. Yung blush nito, super nice. Kasi very subtle pink lang siya, hindi siya malakas. I tried this look before, and the one that I used super very harsh on the face, so this one it's on the apples of my cheek going up we already have a strong eye so we want everything else to be a little bit muted. So there you go, a little bit long and then spread it evenly. I don't know why, but I'm starting to like bringing it up to my under eyes. Next is lipstick, and I'm going to use this Maybelline, um, the Creamy Mattes, in Touch of Spice. They say that this is the dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. So when I heard that, I immediately looked for the shade, and... I, I like it. It's a really nice, like, reddish pink color. And then because I don't use lip pencils, I really just try to 
uh, line my upper lip and my lower uh, lower lips with just the lipstick. And for my final step is this uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. So with this, I don't need to use a highlighter anymore because it, it has specks of glitter. And the finish of this is so gorgeous. I'm going to use this brush, like a smaller uh, powder brush, and tap the excess on the cap. The good thing about this powder, because it really has that nice glow, like it really glows where it's supposed to glow. Like it's not making my face like look glowy all over. And also, it's good to note that I've tried this powder with those Korean illuminating, um, what do you call that? Um, it's that foundation that has, um, that really makes your face a bit more white and shiny. Oh my gosh, I forgot. What's that foundation? Oh, the cushion! There you go, the cushion foundation. I used that with this powder and it was, my face became too, uh, like, it became too glowy. So, uh, so you have to match this glow setting powder with a matte foundation underneath. And just a little bit retouch on the blush. Just a little bit. So one tiny, tiny last step. Let me just apply some gloss on my lipstick. This is from Vice Cosmetics. It's the clear lip gloss and it's called Kiz, the perfect Kiz. So what do you think guys? This is the final look and I have to say I am so pleased with it. Uh, look at the eyes right now. I am loving that it has blended so well. All the colors that I've applied really blended so well. And then this cat eye shape that I created. Hindi siya mukhang blob on your eye na sobrang daming kulay. But it created that nice, really cinched look on your eyes. And then, if you notice, the powder that I used, the Glow Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier, created this really nice finish on my face where it's not super glowy. It gives the exact or just the right amount of glow. And in, in areas, in places where it is supposed to glow, like on the high points of my face. So pleased with this. I'm so happy. I might just wear this every day. Mm hmm Hmm, we'll see. <laughs> so that is it for today, guys. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you all again on the next. Have a good day. Goodbye!